Hi, Julie Barkas here with this week's tip. My tip for you this week is to involve as much as possible your staff with the resolution of parent issues. Now I know often that crises arise in your child care program and there's not always time to fill the staff member in on everything that happened with a parent who had a complaint or an issue. But it will empower your team as well as build their confidence if you can keep them posted on what's going on. One way is that last week we had talked about one-on-one -on -one meetings. One way is that during your one-on-one one meetings let your staff person know inform them of all the issues that did come up and then brainstorm together for how it was handled and maybe ways that you could handle it differently going forward so you may want to ask them here's the issue that came up how would you have dealt with this what success strategies would you have implemented and always reaffirm your support and your belief in your staff person and I know at times when parents come to us with complaints it's not the easiest thing to say well let, hang on a second I gotta go get the staff person. Let, let's all talk to the, about this together because it's like going out to a restaurant. When we have bad service, we don't go and complain to the cook. When our food's not right, we tell our waitress or we talk to the manager. The same thing is applicable in your child care program. The parents don't always feel comfortable going right to the staff person. And I've even been posting in some parent forums and I found that sometimes parents even feel a little threatened or intimidated to talk to the staff person feeling that there might be negative consequences to either them or their child and all those these these allegations may not be true, may not come into fruition, it's very important to at least acknowledge these feelings and at the same time help your staff member feel supported, help them feel that you believe in them regardless of the situations that arise in your working and learning environment. So one way is to have your one-on-one -on -one meetings and ask your staff person how she would have handled the situation. Another way you could deal with it is if that a parent does come to you with an issue or concern, say, you know what, I would really love to involve our staff person with this so that we could sit down and generate solutions together. Ask the parent if he or she would be open to doing that and if so great schedule a meeting and of course if it's a crisis situation or the parent really needs to vent you may need to deal with that immediately and I understand that but uh, again debrief your staff person if you can if you can't involve them directly if there's no time during your one-on-one -on -one meeting but at least debrief them as to what the issue was and how it was handled and most importantly reaffirm your support and your belief in your staff person this will help you balance the tough role of providing excellent and outstanding customer service with being a supportive leader of your child care program I'm Julie Barkas. I'll see you next week for our next tip of the week. In the interim, remember to visit me over at the Leadership Connection for ChildcareProfessionals.com or LCFORCC.com.